As most of you know, this year's WWDC biggest announcement was SWIFT. But what is SWIFT and why is it so important? After 40 minutes into the keynote, Apple started talking about inter-app communication, access to Touch ID, HealthKit, HomeKit, and about 4,000 APIs. Uh, so with these new possibilities, developers can create new apps like never before. And if that wasn't enough, this happens. Objective-C has served us so well for 20 years, we absolutely love it. But we had to ask ourselves the question, what would it be like if we had Objective-C without the baggage of C? Well, we did more than think about it. We have a new programming language. The language is called Swift, and it totally rules. Apple introduced Swift, a new programming language which can be used alongside Objective-C. You can imagine how the crowd full of nerds reacted on this news. Swift is an all-new programming language created by Apple, and it's not a concept, it's here and developers all over the world are learning how to write it. There is a 500-page ebook available in the Apple iBook store if you are really interested. Basically, Swift is fast, modern, safe, and interactive at the same time. It's built the exact same way as Objective-C, but without garbage collection. This means it uses the same LLVM compiler, uses ARC, and has the same runtime as Objective-C. This is super important because Swift is a much easier language to understand and write, and it can be used alongside the code that's already been built for current apps. So there's no need to restart building your apps. So of course there are also people that don't like Swift, but to them, Swift inventor Chris Lettner said, folks who see it as the end of a track, but don't realize it is the start of a new world. The biggest features of Swift is that it's much cleaner, more readable, and it will help you to prevent making obvious mistakes. It basically reduces the amount of codes to write. But Apple went one step further and introduces Swift Playgrounds. This is a major way of making programming more accessible. With Playgrounds, you can instantly see the result of the code that you are writing. You can also link your output to the timeline panel, and when you are running your app, you can see exactly what your code is doing. Your playground file is your app. You can even send it to another developer and he can take a look at it and send it back. So super easy, like writing a Word document together. This is what makes playground very powerful. So I hope you have a better understanding of what Swift is all about. In a few years we will be making web apps in Swift which can communicate with your website. There were some rumors about this at WWDC. So who knows? So I'm really curious to see what developers are going to make to help our daily lives. What do you think about Swift? Are you going to give it a try and become a developer yourself? Let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, like my video, give it a big thumbs up. I most definitely appreciate it and it helps me out a ton. But more importantly is that you subscribe to my channel right here. It's free, so why not? And I will see you guys very soon. Peace.